How's it going everybody? Jordan here and in today's video I'm gonna go over my insane angel of death build that has the highest DPS and is using a specific method that I'll show you in this video. Using this build you can one shot mythical creatures in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Remember as always if you could leave a like if you enjoyed the video and feel free to reach out to me on Twitter with any questions you might have. Let's get right into it. First things first this build is a highly optimized build and may not be for everyone and you might not have the right gear but I want to go over the elements that make this build so powerful and maybe you can take that info into your current gameplay so please stick with me I also did all of this on the nightmare difficulty in case you were curious I was inspired to make this build because Tetra Cycloid our lead moderator in our discord community he made a series of videos one-shotting every single mythical creature as well as a video clip of him hitting a 100 million damage which is insane on one of my streams i was inspired to try to beat that number and i was able to beat his original record with 130 million damage using the first version of this build then tetracycloid beat me again and hit 150 million damage after that our community got together and we've been trying to beat the record since and recently our community contributor riley coyote hit 164 million damage i've attempted to try and beat their record and I realized I don't have enough ability points to do this. The most I've been able to get with this build is 136 million damage, which is still quite a lot. So I just wanted to point that out there that there are more optimized versions of this build and you can find out what those are by joining our Discord community and you can ask Riley Coyote or Tetracycloid what they're doing to hit these insane numbers. The key elements to this build are centered around a few things. Max damage perks and focusing on assassin damage the chance to do 25% assassin damage perk and high critting with specific abilities. The first part is max damage and max assassin damage. This is a pure glass cannon build and if you make any mistake on Nightmare you will get one shotted yourself. It might get frustrating for you but if you can hit an enemy before they get a chance to hit you using an ability like slow time you will kill them extremely fast. The second part is the chance to do 25% assassin damage perk. That's why we focused on max assassin damage before. In order to make this build even come close to one-shotting a mythical creature is this exact perk. What you're gonna want to do is have that perk maxed out on your masteries. This will give you a 5% chance to do 25% assassin damage. And since you're focusing on high assassin damage, this perk when procced will multiply with your crit damage and elemental damage and does a massive damage spike. That's what what you're seeing when you see these one shot clips. So essentially you have a 5% chance to deal over a hundred million damage to a single enemy and that's how you one shot a mythical creature. The third element to make this build more usable than just 5% of the time is using animation canceling abilities. Now what are those? Well there are some abilities that can crit in this game and have long animation but against mythical creatures these abilities instead of processing the entire animation animation will push all the damage dealt across the entire animation into one quick single attack. Like I've mentioned in a previous video, this concentrated damage and animation canceling can be used against smaller enemies that are knocked down by Ring of Chaos or a Spartan Kick or that are at a different elevation than you. The three primary abilities that deal the most damage with this animation canceling are Fury of the Bloodline from the third episode of the Hidden Blade DLC, Overpowered Attack from the warrior ability tree and the hero strike ability from the assassin tree. Each of these have a long animation where you hit your single target with multiple attacks and they now do significant critical hit damage because of the patch in 1.2. The first two warrior abilities have a chance to proc the 5% chance to do 25% assassin damage that we mentioned before as well as your crit and elemental damage making them all more multiply together and deal insane one-shot damage. Hero Strike does not proc the 5% chance to do 25% assassin damage. As far as I know, Hero Strike may not one-shot a mythical creature, but it one-shots every other character in the game, including mercenaries. Even when these abilities don't proc the 5% chance to do 25% assassin damage, when all used together against a mythical creature can still kill the mythical creature very quickly. Yes, 
Yes, you have a 5% chance to one-shot your mythical enemy, but you also have a 100% chance to finish them off in a few seconds when used in the right order. Alright, let's go over the ability method sequence required to maximize this build's damage and finish off a mythical creature in a few seconds. So this method, we start with the battle cry of Ares for the 50% additional warrior damage. Then we're going to trigger our poison damage to deal that additional elemental damage from the build and then we're going to trigger the vanish ability to apply the full poison effect to the mythical creature. Now this requires the chest engraving of vanish applies poison from the Darius set from the third episode of the Hidden Blade. The reason for this is that when the enemy is poisoned or the mythical creature is poisoned they have reduced armor and you can deal more damage to them. Then we apply slow time and immediately try Fury of the Bloodline to see if we can get that 5% proc. In addition to that, it gives you a four adrenaline back, allowing you then to follow it up with an overpowered attack where again you get another chance to do 5% damage and typically if it hasn't procced by now, the mythical creature is down to probably around a third of their health and you can use hero strike and a few hits to finish them off in just a few seconds. This is the method to deal the most damage as possible to a mythical creature as quickly as possible. This build when matched with this method deals the most damage in the game and is quite insane as you can see. Alright, now that I've explained the method and what to focus on, let's go over the actual build details. So we're relying heavily on damage with daggers, so we're going to run with two epic daggers. And the first one is going to have assassin damage, poison damage, crit damage, and then we're going to engrave the Falks of the Olympios engraving of 100% damage, but your health capped at 25%. The secondary dagger is going to be assassin damage, damage with daggers, poison damage and then we're going to engrave 50% crit damage. On our bow, again assassin damage, poison damage, crit chance and then we're going to engrave the 25% assassin damage but minus 15% melee resistance. On the head, we're going to put 24% assassin damage, 50% crit damage, 20% crit chance while at full health and then 30% damage with daggers as an engraving. On the gauntlets, again more assassin damage. 10% crit chance, 50% crit damage, and then we're going to engrave 100% crit damage while at full health. On the chest, 24% assassin damage, 50% crit damage, 40% poison damage, and then the legendary engraving from the Darius set, vanish ability intoxicates enemy, applying that weakened poisoning effect to your enemies. On the waist, we have 24% assassin damage, 100% crit damage while at full health, 10% crit chance and then 40% poison damage and then lastly on the boots we have assassin damage crit chance while at full health 100% crit damage while at full health and then we're going to engrave an additional 20% assassin damage on top of that all right we kind of went over all the abilities already but I'll just briefly go over it I use two ability wheels in order to do this the first is the setup and then the second wheel is going to be the damage so in the setup one our primary ability is going to be battle cry of Ares our secondary ability is going to be venomous attacks turning the poison on. Our third ability is going to be vanish to apply the poison quickly so that we can start doing damage to them. And then the last ability is going to be slow time so we have time to maneuver behind them for additional damage or in order to just get to the right position to kill them. And then on our melee attack wheel we're going to start with the fury of the bloodline ability from the hidden blade dlc and then we're going to focus on overpowered attacks and then hero strike in the second slot for the last little bit of damage and then i've included in this build the rush assassination is very useful for other types of battles you may find yourself with this build throughout the world and then lastly second wind and then the rest of the abilities are in all of your passive abilities in order to get that overall damage and armor increased. For the masteries, again, people with 300 plus ability points like Riley Coyote will have much more success with this, but if you're on the lower side of the ability spectrum, just the main ones you're going to want to focus on are going to be the chance to deal 25% assassin damage. From there, you're going to want to focus on crit damage while at full health, a little bit of crit chance, damage with daggers, and damage while at full health. If you happen to have the extra ability points, go ahead and put them into assassin damage, poison damage, damage on elites and bosses, 
and then damage when attacking from behind. On the warrior side, focusing on warrior damage, armor penetration, and then damage dealt restored as health. And then lastly, crit damage on the hunter tree. All right, so knowing all of this info and all this max damage, again, you can get the link to this build in the description of this video where you can look at all the details that I've outlined in this video on your mobile phone or on your desktop whenever you need to so you don't have to come back to this build. But the main things we want to look at here is we have a 93% critical hit chance while at full health which does work with the Falks of Olympios engraving. And when we do crit we're dealing 720% damage and when used with a dagger overpowered attack applies an 87% damage with daggers. And on top of that when poison is active we're dealing another 241% poison damage. Even on top of that we're dealing the additional 25% assassin damage with this assassin damage up here. All right, lastly, let's go over the transmog for this build. I think it looks really cool. It's a good mixture of the Hades set and Darius' set. And for the head, we're using the Master Assassin's Hood from the Darius set. On the gauntlets, we're going to be using the Dark Steel gauntlets, the Black Iron variation. On the chest, we're using the Chest Plate of the Underworld from the Hades set. On the waist, we're using the Ancient King's Waistband, or you can use the Hades Waist. Either one, I think, looks really cool with this particular build. And then lastly, on the boots, we're using the Boots of Ares with the dark spikes on the side. Side, I think this fits really well with the charred skin of the particular set. So that's the Angel of Death build using the awesome one-shot mythical creature method. I hope you enjoyed it and it took a lot of time to get the clips together for this and it was really fun to push the limits of this game and damage. But I do have a question for you guys. What are some of the things that you've pushed or done in this game that's pretty insane? I'd love to hear some of your stories from the game in the comments of this video. I'll be sure to reply to you. Thanks again, and if you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed Odyssey content. Also, if you have any questions for me, you can ask me on Twitter at It's Jordan Does. I'd love to help you out. As always, I appreciate all of you, and I'll see you guys next time. So proud of those born to be Spartans.